Hey guys, I'm back. This is Debbie with I'd Rather Be Camping if you haven't watched our videos before. Today I'm going to be trying out this Verathane, I think is how it's pronounced. It's a gel stain. Um, my understanding is it, it's very thick and instead of painting it, you want that um, grain left on there. So I'm going to give this a shot. I think it's called Briar Smoke color. This tabletop is got a lot of orange uh, tint to it, which I don't like. I don't, uh, I've been wanting to do this for about a year. So these are the things I'm going to be using. And I'm going to sand it a little bit to knock off the shine. Drop cloth because I'm a really messy worker. And a stir stick to stir this up. And of course some iced tea because it's probably about 105 degrees outside. And my air conditioner keeps kicking on so the PG&E bill should be fun. Or electric bill. I don't know where you're from but it's PG&E Pacific Gas and Electric here. But anyway, we'll give this a shot. Now I'll show you whether it turns out or not. Um, so we'll give it a go. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is start off with this 180. And I don't have any um, square sheets to use on my sanding block. This is a 220 block. I'll try it. But I just want to kind of break off the shine a little bit. So we'll see how it goes. We are redoing our bathroom right now, too. We'll be having a video coming up. My husband's actually in there um, putting tile in the shower area of the bathtub. We intended on painting it, but after watching a lot of videos, I've come to the conclusion that's just a temporary fix. So we ended up knocking the tile off with another story in itself. Okay, this is what it looks like. Um, <laughs> looks like a mess, right? Uh, see if you can... Maybe if I hold it up here, but I think I'm going to have to do a lot of stirring. Um, but yeah, it's really, really thick. Uh, I have my table sanded and I just went once over it and cleaned it off. It still has a little bit of shine to it. I don't think it'll hurt it. It's just you're supposed to do that so this is able to grip onto it better. So anyway, I'm going to be stirring this for a little while, make sure it's all stirred up really good. Um, definitely has a gray tint to this color. So I'm hoping it's not too gray. My husband picked it up, so we'll I've been see. stirring it for a little bit, not too long, but kind of looks like a thin pudding, if you can see that. It's pretty thick. This will be interesting. Let's see how way it goes on. on. Go with the grain here. Yeah, let me turn you around. Like, just like stain, you come back and wipe some off. That's why I know it's probably going to take several, I don't know. I'll see how it looks after two coats. I just want the orange gone. <laughs> okay, that is what it looks like before... I've wiped anything off. 
so it's very gray which it's pretty it's just I'm gonna move over here so we'll keep maybe this in and get my sorry and get my t-shirt rag oops kick the stand And I'm going to start wiping this off. Let me move you up close so you can see what it looks like. I'm applying a little bit of pressure. Not too much. I definitely want to get some of this off so you can. Oh, there comes that orange. This is why I figure it's going to need a couple coats. what it's looking like should have put my gloves back on this is after one coat I'm not sure but we'll just keep going with it I'm going to do the rest of the table and uh, come back, let it set for a little bit until it's dry and come back and do another coat. Um, here's what I was saying, it's white underneath, but yeah, that's, we're just gonna go forward with it. Okay, it's been probably close to three hours since I put this first coat on there. I'm sure I'm hoping that the second coat makes it look better, but this is what it looks like with that first coat on it. So what I'm going to do now is apply the second coat. Um, I think it says on there you need to wait a couple hours between the coats, so that's what I did, and I've stirred, re-stirred my stuff up. But get it closer here. Now I'm going to Oh, it's messy can. Start again. I'm thinking this might take three coats. But, uh, that's where I'm at right now. This stuff does have a smell to it. I can't really open windows because it's so hot out and I can't do it out because it's so hot out um, so it is what it is I guess a, thing, a good thing about this stuff is um, I probably didn't even need to put anything on for it it doesn't drip it is so thick so that that is a good thing all right, we'll see how this goes. the next morning and 
I'm going to start on this table again. I'm not sure this is going good at all. You can still see quite a bit of the orange. This has two coats and it just, when you try to wipe it off evenly, I, I, it's probably my sanding areas. Some places it's on and some places it's not. This might be chalked up to being a failure. But I'm going to keep going, put another couple coats on, see what happens. Okay, I'm on the last section of it. I was going to tell you, which forgot, that... I did wipe the table off with this microfiber cloth to make sure there wasn't anything on it before I put the polyurethane on there. But we're almost done. I don't know if it's going to take two coats. We're about to find out. I guess after this dries, we'll see. Let me put this down here. So this section's done. That one back there, and now we're doing this one. This stuff is really thick. Just, I do the edges with this cheap sponge brush and then I roll with a sponge roller but I'm finding that I come back in over it with this again um, seems to level it out better so you have to kind of work quick tray back over there this roller stops <laughs> rolling it's not the best thing wasn't busy routing that tile in there. I would probably, he's probably better at this. He made the other counters in the trailer look so good. I hope he mine comes out. But you can see this is how I'm doing it anyway. Okay, here it is. It has, um, this is the next day again. This has two coats of the water based polyurethane right here. We used a semi gloss because that's what was out in the garage. <laughs> but it turned out fine. It is a little more actually quite a bit more gray. I'm trying to pick up. You can still see a little bit of the grain, but it's just really hard to pick up on the camera. But I'll tell you what, I like it better than that orange tabletop because it didn't go with the floor. Hi, Andy. 
what are you doing? <laughs> but um, that's what it turned out like. I would think, you know, different of uh, uh, stain colors of that gel stain on different color wood, you know, probably would turn out completely different than this, but I'm happy with it. I wish I could just pick up a little bit, but it is way better than it was, and that polyurethane to protect it. If you've watched our videos before, thank you for dropping in again. If you haven't, this is Debbie with I'd Rather Be Camping. Um, thanks for following us. And so I don't know if you want to check out this gel stain, but it worked out okay. It's, um, I think it depends on what color uh, your tabletop is versus what color you go over with. And uh, definitely, ooh, get out of here, fly. Definitely probably uh, if you didn't want this gray you could pick out a different color and try it out but it isn't too hard to use um, so that is my test run with this I really like it and uh, we're working on our bathroom right now probably try to get a video up on that we're coming to the end of that thank goodness but anyway well thanks for dropping by